All right, guys, today we're doing a carburetor on the EU 2000i Honda inverter. Uh, flathead screwdriver, pop this cover off. Flathead screwdriver, pop this cover off, and there's an air filter underneath to take it out. This has sat for a long time, so we got to replace this air filter. Um, I'll put all the parts you'll need for this in the description below. Um, the, there'll be filters, carburetor, spark plug, everything you could possibly need for this job will be in the description below. All right, um, take this one out. It's disintegrating too. <laughs> and then there's a eight millimeter screw. Sometimes it's 10 millimeter, but eight millimeter, eight millimeter, eight millimeter, all three of them. All right, pull all this off after you get all of them out. There's a hose hooked up right here. It pulls right straight off the bottom. Remove the uh, fuel line. There's a clamp. You may have to turn it to get to it. Um, and then use your needle nose to, to grab it and get it off. And then we're gonna pop this hose out of this clamp here to where it's hanging down. Drain all the gas out of it and then dump some fresh straight low octane gas in this and then you're gonna pull this line off the bottom here and you're gonna oh it's already leaking through oh, that's cool then you're just gonna rinse it through um, you can uh, just drain this into a clear bottle you do it in the clear bottle that way you can check for water or anything like that it'll slowly trickle in you just let all that fresh you just put like a, I only put a water bottle's worth of gas in there, not even a full water bottle. Just enough to make sure there's no water debris or anything in the bottom. Once it's all drained out, blow it all out with an air hose if you can, just to dry it out. Or uh, shove a rag in there, just make sure you leave a little out all the time. Let it soak it all up, then pull the rag out. Just get all the bad gas and water out of it. Alright, now this carburetor will pull straight off. You don't have to do any of the electronics or anything on these. You just flip it upside down, pop the bottom bolt off. Then there's a pin holding this float. Just pull it out and remove the float. Now there's a main jet inside here. I take a, flat, a number two flathead screwdriver and grind the sides down so that it fits in there. And then you remove, you turn it, you get it in there, hold it firmly and give it a quick jerk and turn it counterclockwise to get it out. Now, I got the jet out. Can't really see it, there you go. Focus. Got the jet out, or if this tube is still in it, it doesn't have to come out, you can just rinse it out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna spray carb cleaner with a straw through this jet, through both ways, make sure it's very clean, through the orifice tube, through the fuel inlet. Um, and then there is also two spots on the front, there and there. You wanna spray through those really well. That's what the jet looks like before it's clean. That's what the jet should look like after it's clean. Also, it's hard to focus, but this thing should be nice and clear. No debris inside of it at all. If you see anything in there on either side, if it's on this side, you see anything, clean it. Um, if you got to, use a wire to push through it. Um, I found that a wire off a wire wheel, if you grab it with pliers and pull it off, pokes through it perfectly. Um, same with all these other tubes. They all have to be perfectly clear. Do not take the O-ring out. Leave it in there. That way it won't swell or anything. If it ends up on the bowl when you pull it apart, Gently take it off the bowl before you do anything and put it back in that crevice. Make sure it's pushed all the way down in, all the way around so that it stays in there and doesn't swell. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our jet back in. Make sure it's clear, clean, and put it back in. Screw it down clockwise. Now, the jet doesn't have to come out of there. If it strips and you can't get it out, you just gotta get it clean. Or if you don't have a screwdriver to fit in there, just make sure it's super clean, sprays all the way through. When you squirt car cleaner through there, it'll come out other spots. 
just make sure it comes out a nice solid clean stream. Make sure the needle valve is completely clean, free of debris. Make sure that the rubber tip isn't swollen or cracked. Alright, then we're going to go ahead, stick the needle valve back in, and then push the pin back through to hold it in place. Now we're going to clean out the bowl. I always put my finger on the bottom of the hole to plug it. I spray some carb cleaner in there and then I scrape it with a flathead screwdriver. Then we reinstall the bowl with the drain bolt facing towards the needle valve. Just like that. Um, take and scrape the bottom of the bowl top before you put it back in. There's always debris on that. Reinstall it. Tighten the bowl down properly. Make sure this gasket's on the very back and then slide this on. There'll be a new gasket in the kit that I've put on uh, online. If yours tears but doesn't come crumbling apart, you can always use Indian head. It's just a uh, aircraft sealant. You wipe it on it and then it'll seal it right down tight. Um, in a pinch it works perfectly um, all right uh, tanks all clean so we're gonna reinstall the fuel line and the clamp get the clamp back on this bottom line is your vacuum line make sure you put that back in place gonna put both hoses back in their spots so they don't get in the way of anything there you go um, now the air filter assembly, right? Yeah, 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 I don't see anything else. Make sure this gasket's here. And then uh, you're going to reattach the hose back to here. Then you push this down tight. So push this back in place and two 8mm nuts and an 8mm bolt. Put the air filters in and the new air filter, or the new air filters in and the cover back on. Before you close this up, you're going to want to check your oil. This should be filled pretty much to the very top. So you're going to pull this out, and it should be right to the top of that, that dipstick, just like that. It's perfect. Turn this to on. Turn this to on. Full choke is this way, and we're going to give her a pull fire it up. Run it perfectly. how she should go all right then you put your red cover on and you're all done all right that's it guys again all the parts will be in the description below if this helped you in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button uh, today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well if you want me to wear a business shirt of yours I'll be more than happy to advertise for you mail me one Peace.